welcome to Crafts of Note. I have such a fun video today. I love giving gifts and I think that this is a nice one that most of these gifts I think are pretty unique for sewists and hopefully gives you or someone you know a lot of great ideas. So you could share the video to someone if you are the sewist and give them some ideas for, for you. And if you haven't yet, if you like my videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel and uh, let's get started. I'm gonna try to go through everything really quick because there's kind of a lot on my list. I even made like a little sheet here. The first thing I'm gonna set, talk about is advent calendars because now is the time. If you're gonna get one for someone, it has to be like immediate because some of them start on December 1st, which is really, really soon. And I got one and it is the Pitch Trading Company's Lingerie Society Bra Sewing Advent Calendar. Obviously I haven't opened it yet, but I do plan to do 60 second shorts every day of me opening each day. And I know that there are Missouri Star Quilting Company has one for uh, quilters. And if you just Google, you know, sewing advent calendars, there's a few out there. And some may be still in stock in somewhere. I think that the Bra Builders one, which is US based, definitely had some still in stock at multiple price points, no less. So that's a really good one. And then also because of this season, we'll do stocking stuffers next little tiny gifts that don't have to be stocking stuffers. These could be uh, in Easter baskets, gift baskets, just little small gifts anyway that somebody might like. So quite a few on this list for that. So the first one is gift cards, gift cards to local boutiques for sewing and fabric or uh, the local sewing machine shop, Joann's, um, any bigger company even, uh, Etsy, even is a great one because then they can go get some things and it's unique enough where it's not just like a generic gift card. Uh, you're, you're helping them go to buy something very specific. So if you want to do a gift card, that was a good one. Another one is like little gifties type things. So Lauren Romino has these glitter clips. These are um, little clips that you can use to sew and normally they're just kind of plain colored, but these ones are, they have rainbow and glitter. And so this is this one that I have here. I have some of these linked down in the comments area. Uh, and then I have the, like if you have a bag maker, you can get custom cool hardware. So this is a Highland Cow zipper pull that I bought myself, but it would have been really cool. I like Highland Cows, and so the next bag that I make for myself, it has a Highland Cow. Um, and then like little pretty, uh, thread snips. These are from Lauren Marmino as well. They have roses on them, all kinds of, any kind of tool like that. Um, another one that I thought of that would be a really good stocking stuffer or gift is a lighted seam ripper. And some of them even have a magnifying glass. When you're seam ripping, it's kind of really small details. And so sometimes the light would be really helpful or the magnifying glass would allow you to just see a little bit better. Then pretty versions of normal everyday items. So for instance, I brought down my um, rainbow duckbill scissors. These are from Tula Pink. Tula Pink has a whole line of rainbow scissors and all kinds of tools. There's all kinds of them out there. There's pretty hummingbird scissors. Any tool that a sewist used and had there's a pretty version of or a really cool version of, we want. <laughs> If it's a rainbow ruler or not, we want it. So I brought another one down and it's a glitter ruler. It's kind of hard to show up on camera. And I have a few of these. These are also from Lauren Mormino. This came in her subscription box or her little uh, project box, but she has all kinds of those. But basically if it looks cool, if it's unique, if it's a unique color, that's a great one for a stocking stuffer or a small gift. Another one would be ornaments. Ornaments could go in the stocking or they could just be a gift as well. There are sewing machines, little glass ones, little vintage sewing machines. There's Christmas trees made out of bobbins. I mean, thematically, if you can think about it, it's there. A good place to look for sewing machine ornaments is Etsy. There's a lot of handmade ones. You're supporting local people most of the time um, or just looking on a Google search for people who actually make them. But there are still also some at Amazon. You can buy them at Joann's and everything. The next one would be a USB drive that looks like a sewing machine or scissors. They have these on Amazon, uh, especially uh, people who do embroidery use their USB flash drives a lot, but also other sewists do too. We put patterns on them, um, you know, just thematic stuff. And the next one could be a gift or a stocking stuffer, but sewing themed jewelry. 
they have scissor necklaces. I often see um, uh, kittenish behavior with the, the sewing necklace that she has. And they have thread earrings, sewing machine earrings. I made some sewing machine earrings for my mom once for a gift. But there's all kinds of jewelry thematically out there. And there's handmade jewelry, there's some on Amazon, etc. So you can get from each, whichever way you want to support. Pattern weights. Pattern weights are used by everyone in some way, shape, or form, probably, or they can be helpful, uh, especially garment sewists, because there's lots more fabric, but you can get pretty ones out there. You just search like sewing pattern weights, or you can even go to the hardware store. And the ones that I use are actually like these big metal washers, like this, big metal washers that um, help weigh down the paper when you're cutting out your pattern. The next one is easy and a kind of a simple one, but it's a consumable for sewing. Thread. If you want to be sneaky, go into your partner's sewing area, look what thread they have, and either get them a color that looks like it's getting low, or just get them because it'll get used at some point, especially black or white. Or if they're an embroiderer, um, embroidery thread always gets used up. So kits for that are great. Another one is that purple thing. That's the, the name of it. And it's this little, I don't know, in the Lord the Little Mermaid or Scuttle, like thingamabobber, thingamabob, basically. It's a, it's a handy little tool to do lots of things. Has a little tool to poke out corners, it has a quarter inch marker over here, it has a little hole here that you can feed something through to help pull it through. It's just handy tool. And the last like little thing is like friction pens, friction markers, or like cool colored Sharpies. We always use these. These are erasable by heat, the friction pens, which is why I like them. And then for pattern marking, Sharpies are nice because they don't um, get erased by heat. <laughs> so that would be good for stocking stuffers. Okay, let's go into more distinct gifts that aren't so small. So the next one I have on my list is custom tags. Custom, like, you know, clothing tags that like you might have. You can get these on Etsy and you can get them custom made, or you can get fun ones that just say cool stuff, like Kylie and the Machine, I think is one company that makes a bunch that just say cool stuff, like my size, or made with love, or you know, this took for ages, and you can also get custom ones that says made with love by grandma, or you know, um, sewn by whoever, or you can get them all custom made, and that's a really cool gift, no matter what kind of sewing they do, um, because it's just nice to have a cool tag in there that has some personal expression or tells you something to the person if it's a gift. The next two gifts kind of go hand in hand in the types. An acupressure mat or a neck massager. I own both of these things and sometimes when you're sewing, especially if something bad happens or you get really stuck and you're like leaning like this to do some, you know, uh, seam ripping your neck and your back can hurt a lot, or if you're bending over to like trace a pattern. So the acupressure mat is pretty cheap, but it works really well. You lay on it and it feels crazy for a minute and then eventually it soothes out to nothing and all the pain goes away and your back feels amazing. And then the neck massager wraps around and you can get these all over the place. And it's really nice that when you've been leaning forward or probably having bad technique when sewing and how you're leaning or sitting that you put it on and it can help relieve a lot of tension that you get in your neck and shoulders. Kind of related to that is that if your sewerist has a bad chair or they need an upgraded chair or their chair is worn out, getting them a new chair for sewing, one that's very supportive in the back, kind of sits straight up. You don't want like the loungy ones that kind of tip backwards. Um, there's all kinds of options out here and all kinds of preferences. So you might want to talk to the person if you were helping gift this one. Okay, the next one is kind of a cool one. Upgrading something that they already have. So there's such a huge array for sewing that you can have the cheapest sewing machine for $100 and you can have sewing machines that go up to the thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And there's a huge gradient for basically everything for sewing. Even sewing scissors and shears and all kinds of thread even. There's a whole gradient of how much you can upgrade something. Probably the ones that are most helpful is the actual sewing machine, the chairs, maybe a new sewing machine like a, getting a serger or a cover stitch machine or, you know, a second embroidery machine, an upgraded embroidery machine, all kinds of things like that. That would probably require a conversation unless you're not knowledgeable, but an upgrade to something you already have to make everything better or easier to use, etc. The next one that's kind of fun is handmade or artisan decor that's sewing themed. 
There's all kinds of stuff out there. There's signs, there's decorative wall art. Even one of my favorites is um, a, a pillow cover that says, I enjoy romantic walks through the fabric store. And I thought that one was really funny because I actually do. I will occasionally get my partner to go with me like through Joann's or something or somewhere else and I really enjoy it and he gives me his opinion and we talk about stuff and for me I just really enjoy that a lot and you know the pillow is fun and then there's ones that have like crazy cat lady sayings and like all kinds of stuff it goes it runs the gamut checking Etsy checking online stores checking your local sewing shop they have all kinds of stuff there's even like sewing themed candles out there and that leads me with the romantic walks through the gift store, or through the fabric store, into another type of gift you could give, which is fabric and sewing tourism. Taking your person on a trip to somewhere, and part of that trip being they go to a fabric store, sewing machine shop, or whatever. I've done this before, it's really fun. I have fabric that I bought in Scotland that I did a video on. I've bought fabric when I've been in Los Angeles and Anaheim. I've bought fabric when I try to look whenever we go on a trip actually to for a place that I can go look at fabrics because sometimes it's a really unique shop or they have something that you wouldn't be able to find elsewhere. I even bought some in Hawaii when I was there and it doesn't have to be super far either. It could just be like a kind of out of the way shop or in the case of what my partner did once, um, he took me out to three of my favorite stores and he said I can buy, I can get one thing in each place no matter what. And that was kind of like his gift is like we go to each place and I can get something and that was pretty fun and not too hard really just driving me to the stores like a chauffeur. Another easy and more affordable one would be sewing fiction or non-fiction or thematic fiction. So here's an example. This is Spin the Dawn. This is a fantasy book like a young adult fantasy book that is based upon um, sewing garments as part of like the main storyline. So you have stuff like this which is kind of fun and there's historical novels out there like this or getting something more non-fiction based as a book so like a, a book about how to sew something or um, a book about sewing that's non-fiction or even like this. This is Gertie's sketchbook where you can if they're a clothing person they can draw on little figures things that they are planning to make. For those on a budget, here's some free ideas that you could do as gifts for your sewist. You could make them dinner when they're engrossed in a really big project. You could take care of something so they have more time to sew. Or like in the same vein as like, you know, sometimes your neck or back hurts after sewing, you could offer to give them a massage. So free ideas like that, doing something for them so that they can do their hobby or, you know, like helping clean up the sewing room after a project where there's pieces of thread and fabric all over the place. Helping clean, I think that's everyone's least favorite part is cleaning up the sewing room. Some other ones would be um, getting storage stuff. So for instance, like a cube organizer, so they have more places to put some of their materials or getting pegboard organizers like I've got on the wall. They were, some of them were actually gifts from my partner um, and putting those up for them that especially would be nice, or just giving them to them. Um, some kind of organizational thing if it's needed. I feel like sewists always have a lot of stuff, so that's probably always needed. Another one, especially if the sewing machine doesn't have a lot of light or the room doesn't have a lot of lighting, is either getting them a light or there's like a little light strip here that you can put on the sewing machine in order to make it really bright where you're sewing so you can see better. Another interesting one is that there's like this gypsy quilter who makes a couple cool things and they're all purple. And they have uh, the Biddy Bag, what's it called? The Biddy Buddy Cup and the Biddy Bag. It's a cup holder when you don't have a lot of room near your sewing machine. So you can actually put something uh, like a drink off to the side. And then the other one is like a portable little like scrap bag, trash can, that can actually hook onto the table or under the sewing machine foot so that you have somewhere to put all the thread or um, fabric scraps, etc. as you're working. So I've come to the very last section and this is subscriptions. There's a lot of subscriptions out there. I'm going to put a link to some of them in the comments area, but they're really fun. They are the gift that keeps giving afterwards if you do a longer subscription and there's a surprise element and they're generally curated really well, especially with people who know what they're doing and they go pretty dramatic in price points. There's some expensive ones, there's some cheaper ones and they're all pretty neat. So some of the ones that I know more about or that I'm going to mention is Cashmere Club is one and it's one pattern a month that they release that you get as part of Cashmere Club and then there's a clubhouse, there's discounts, 
you get discounts on fabric from being in it. And that's pretty fun. And you can do different links of that. So you can check out Cashmerette's website for that one. There's all kinds of quilt block of the month clubs out there at local sewing machine shops, at local quilting shops, online. Um, some of the bigger companies like Missouri Star Quilt Company have these. Uh, there's a lot of them out there. And then if uh, the person's a, an embroiderer, the Kimberbell Bella Box is an embroidery project and like um, from them that is also a subscription box. And, and then there are other ones like there's a So Haley Jane one. Some of them are UK based. Um, some of them are in the US and all kinds of them out there. And that would just be a really fun uh, gift as well. So I hope this video was helpful and you gained a lot of ideas. I will put a lot of them down in the comments because this video is probably a little long so you can at least read through in case you forgot some of them. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.